One of the reasons I think we were so successful is that we used it as a frontline adjunctive therapy, yeah. not as a last ditch effort. Right. And that is crucial because these children f often fail multiple, multiple rounds of chemotherapy, of different types of chemo. The tumors become more and more chemo resistant. And then frankly, when their children have relapsed and they're looking at death's door, they then think, what are all these other things we can do to save them? And tragically, diet is not usually enough at that juncture because right. there's been so much other damage. And so that's why it's so important to have a voice and to not be quiet about it, that frontline intervention is crucial in, long, in the longevity studies of these children. So, and that's why I wanna get clinicians on board. Even at the very end, I remember one of our oncologists asked us, is he still on that ketogenic diet? And I said, yes. And I said, don't you think that had a huge role in this amazing recovery that he's had? And it was like, well, we can't say for sure. I, it's probably the chemotherapy. And at that point I realized, you know, I'm, I've done my part to try to move the needle forward with the oncologist, but ultimately they're gonna have to change their own minds by being open to, willing the, open to reading the research. The way I can move the needle forward is by empowering other families going through a similar hell and telling them you can do something. You know, it, it, it may not work in the end, but it absolutely improves quality of life. And so that's, that's my, I'm a mom on a mission.